Hey everyone, a very warm welcome to all of you. So today I'm back with the very interesting interview question. So the question is, we have to find top two restaurants in each city with the highest average rating. Okay, so this is the data where we have cities, restaurants, orders and with the rating column. All right, so let's look the table cities. In the city table, we have city ID and the city name. We have three cities, okay, which is Mumbai, Delhi and Bangalore. And in the restaurants table, we have nine restaurants total. And in each city, as you can see, the city ID column represents the city details. In each city, we have three restaurants. So that means total nine restaurants in each three cities, okay. So and the orders table, we have the details of orders from which restaurants we receive the order and what is the rating for that particular restaurant, okay. So what we're going to do is we have to find top two restaurants. Okay, top two restaurants in each city with the highest average rating. You can say the highest rating in each city. Okay, we have to find top two restaurants in each city with the highest rating. All right. So what we're going to do is we have to find these columns. City ID, city name, restaurant ID, restaurant name and average rating. As you can see, city ID, city name columns are in cities table okay and the restaurant id restaurant name column in restaurants table and the average rating is in orders table so we have to join these three tables okay so first we'll join all the tables all right so let's join these tables from cities c join with restaurants all right so the common column between uh, cities in and restaurant is city id okay as you can see the city id present in both the tables all right so this is a joining condition all right on c dot city id equals to r dot city id all right so let's join the third table which is orders okay o on o dot so we're gonna join this table orders table with the, the common column is restaurant id equals to r dot restaurant id all right Let's retrieve all the columns. All right. So we have 27 rows now. All right. So as you can see the orders table, we have 27 rows. So now we have all the data from all the tables. All right. The common data in all the tables. All right. So as you can see, this is a rating. So what we want to find, we want to find the average rating. So let's calculate the average rating. All right. Average of rating. All right. And what the columns we want? We want C dot CD ID. Sorry, C dot CD ID, C dot city name, R dot uh, restaurant ID, and R dot restaurant ID and restaurant name. All right, so these are the four columns, and the fifth one is average as average. All right, so let's run this. Oh. I forgot just put these columns into the group by clause all right all right so these are the values of average ratings of all the restaurants all right so what we're gonna do is have to make a difference you know we need to see the decimal values as well so to convert the into a decimal value we have to change this value into the float all right to cast rating as float all right let's run this all right perfect so let's round these two uh, these values to the two decimal points all right so now this is the output we want okay so we have nine restaurants and we have uh, the average ratings of all the restaurants okay so what we want we want highest ratings of of the restaurants in each city so for example in the mumbai what is the highest rating of the restaurant so the highest one is 4.67 and this uh, the second highest 4.33 okay that's it we want two highest okay so in delhi what are the highest restaurants so the first highest is 4.67 and the second highest is 4.67 because these two have the highest ratings okay so these two restaurants have the highest ratings and in the bangalore we have the these two highest ratings okay so we want six columns we want six rows from uh, from the nine rows okay so what we can do is we will use the row number function in this table okay in this result so we'll create a CTA. all right 
so we'll create a CTE and in this result set we will put the row number function CTE dot uh, city ID city dot city name city dot restaurant ID and city dot restaurant name all right and now row number over clause and we'll make partition by city ID and order by average descending order okay so because from top we want the highest values of the city id column or okay so if we'll uh, put the ascending so it will show us a uh, smaller values first okay so we will give the average column as well as you can see 4.67 on top and after that 4.33 as you can see 4.67 on top and again 4.67 with different restaurant name and 4.67 and the 4.67 okay so i want these values okay with the highest average rating all right so what we can do is we'll uh, extract these first two values of from the all the rows okay so we can create a cte here okay cte2 as Asterisk from CTE to CTE to as okay, and uh, let's give the name RN T2 where RN in one and two okay. So we got the output. These are the restaurants uh, who's having the highest average ratings. Okay, one two one two one two. So I don't want the one two one two RN column. So CTE two dot city ID two dot city name T two dot restaurant ID city two dot restaurant name. Okay and the average rating all right guys so that's how you can generate this output with these logics very simple query but a uh, little bit brainstorming was required all right so thank you so much for your time and if you like the video please subscribe and like the video all right and if you have any question and if you have a better result from this, so you can put in the comments. It's always welcome. All right. Thank you so much for your time. Have a good day.